Hey guys, it's Yvette. So I have a haul and the Becca stuff I ordered from Holt Look still is not here. I checked the tracking. It's supposed to be here probably by like Thursday. I'm like, great, I ordered a lipstick product and it's going to hit my mailbox right when it's like super duper hot. So that's just great. Hopefully it doesn't melt. Um, but I, okay, let's see, I hit Target, then I hit Dixie Lee's, you know, she was having her giveaway and everything, so, and her huge sale, so I went over there, um, I met up with Molly and Tracy, then we went to South Coast, and we hit up Bloomingdale's, Sephora, Nordstrom, and Forever 21, so, um, I didn't really plan on finding, you know, quite a few things like at South Coast, especially because Bloomingdale's was having their friends and family sale. And I really thought that they were going to be sold out of so much by the time I got there, which they weren't. So that's good. But just for the sake of not getting makeup swatches on the clothes and the shoes that I picked up, I'm just going to show you guys right now. So... Yeah, we're going to start off with that, okay? Okay, so on Thursday, I went out to dinner with my friend Molly, and she's like my soul sister. Um, I mean, everything about us is exactly alike. People really do think we're sisters. We wear the same shoe size. We're both eat into eating clean. Um, we love the same clothes. I mean, everything is the same about us. And she wore these to dinner, and she actually picked these Target sandals up earlier in the week and she's like Yvette you know these sandals are amazing you have to go pick them up so when we went to Tahoe Joe's for dinner we, there's a Target in that parking lot so I was like let's just head over to this Target and see if they have them and they did and seriously you guys these are the most comfortable sandals ever and they were only 29 bucks believe it or not it's crazy and I'm just obsessed with them. I can't take them off. I wore them all day Friday, all day yesterday at the mall. They are just so comfortable. And they have a good size band up here, a good size ankle strap. Um, I think these are three and a half or maybe four inch heels. They do run true to size because you know sometimes Mossimo um, or Target brand can vary a little bit. These are actually, they stretch just a little bit, so they're almost too big. So I'm thinking about going back and getting a 9 because I did get a $5 off coupon for shoes or accessories or something. So I might go back and get another one because I love these so much. And they also have them in black and like this floral print, but they are called the Pamela. So definitely cute. I really do love them. And they're just so comfortable you guys so okay then let's see I did order a sweatshirt off actually no let's just go Dixie Lee's Dixie Lee's is next the first thing that I picked up there um, I posted a picture on my Instagram when I got my jeans you know I was just playing around with outfits and this bracelet has just been on my mind ever since and it's the Elise M I'll tell you exactly what it is. It's the Elise M Stardust Tiger beaded bracelet. And I believe it was 38. So I know Carissa's got one more, but it's, you know, the stretchy beaded bracelet, but it's so pretty with the brown and then a little bit of turquoise. Oh, just, I love it. Super cute. So I got that. Then from Dixie Lee's, I was excited because she texted me Friday that she just got a shipment of things that she's been waiting for. And of course I had to get something. But Carissa is so sweet. She actually gifted me this sweatshirt right here that is to die for. Look at it. I love the horse on it. I mean, you guys know I'm like a cowgirl at heart and I have horses and they're just like the best animal ever like I love horses so of course oops I have to get this and what see this is what I love about it um it's off the shoulder it hangs from shoulder to shoulder really flattering or you can wear it you know off the shoulder um but it's just super adorable that's why I kind of want to put it on the hanger so you guys can see how 
the cut is, if you know what I mean. But it's a pretty thick material and I mean I don't know how many times I'm going to be able to wear it before it gets super duper hot because it is already hot but you know we might have like a day or two where I can. But um, I got the small, medium and then it comes medium or large, extra large. But they fit, I don't want to say on the tight side. Um, I could probably do the bigger one, but I, I didn't want it to be like a little bit too baggy. So these are 68 so it's a really good price and it's by the brand Free Your Heart. So she just started carrying this line. So I got that and then I also got this tank right here. This is Blame It On My Wild Heart. I loved it. I love the color. This would look super cute with some black jeans tucked in at the belt, you know, with some pumps or some, I mean flats, anything, even with shorts. So cute. I did get the small medium. And this is also by the brand Free Your Heart. And I think these were, I think they're 40. Oh, there's no price tag on. It's 42 or 46, I believe. But she also has, she has got another one in black with white writing that just says Darling on it. And then there's another black one with white writing that says, you had me at tailgate. And then there's one, there's another black one with white and silver writing and it says country music has my heart. And then she's also got a really cute like v-neck tee that says daydreamer on it and it's got um, arrows. So it's so adorable but just I love it. She just started carrying this line because they are more affordable and you know everybody loves affordable stuff. So I got those. Okay, so yesterday at the mall we hit Forever 21. That was actually our last stop, but I had a few things I wanted to try on, but the line was like 20 minutes long, and I actually waited in it to figure out that most of the clothes I didn't even want. But I just left with these two shirts right here, and they both have holes in them. I really did like them. This one kind of um, reminds me of like cat scratches or something or like you know you got in a fight with a lion or something I just thought it was cute and it was more of a v-neck and then there's this one which has more of like the I don't know if you guys could really see it it just has you know more of like the rounded looking holes and this one is just you know have the regular neck but this one I had to get in a large so this style was a little bit um, different and ran a little small and this one was $17.90 and then this one was only $15.90 so that was really good but I mean they're really really cute so I'm excited to put these on especially you know for spring and summer and on warmer days it's going to be you know nice and just something you know a little bit different so then we decided you know let's just hit Bloomingdale's anyways and see you know what we find and Surprise, surprise, Molly and I both left with a pair of jeans and a wild fox tee. Like, believe it or not, we're I, not even kidding. We're like the same person. It's hilarious. But um, this was the very first thing I tried on and I fell completely in love with it. And it's this wild fox t-shirt and it's kind of like a baggy tee. But it's got, you know, the little chili peppers on it. And of course, I had to paint my nails to match. But... Uh, it's just adorable. I loved it. And then I picked up a pair of my very first mother denim skinny jeans. And for about a month now, I have been really trying to find a nice fitting pair of skinnies that have the frayed ankle. But I just, I haven't had luck. And then I tried, I think, three pairs of frayed ankle skinnies on yesterday. And this is the one I just, you know, fell in love with. I had to show Molly and Tracy and both of them were like, yes, you need those. I went for it and I just picked them up because I figured, you know what, it's either now or never. I know these are not going to hit Nordstrom Rack. I know they're not going to hit Oat Look. So I just figured, you know, I'm just going to get them. And they were 25% off, so it was a really good deal. But yeah, so I got the Mother Looker Ankle Fray Skinnies. And this is what the back pocket looks like. The color of these are called Wicked Games, and I love that. But let me show you guys what the ankles look like. 
see there, you know, it's just that raw hem. Like, I love that. I just, and it's so flattering because, you know, I figured these would look really cute, not only with pumps, but flats or um, like ballerina flats, sandals. You can get away with anything pretty much because these sit a little bit above, you know, like a normal jean or a normal skinny jean would. And it's just really flattering. So I love these. But I will try to find everything and put the links down below for you guys. And, oh, I did get one thing from Hope Look that finally came. Which I ordered this the same time I ordered all my Becca makeup. And it was this cuff. It's by the brand Bansri, I believe. B-A-N-S-R-I. And it's called the Scale Cuff. And originally it was like 150 or something or 136 and I believe I bought it for like 20 bucks and it really here let me just put it on so you guys can see I did post a picture on my Instagram I was wearing this with an outfit of the day but I can't stack it with these but this is kind of what it looked like I, I wore it with my wild fox sweater just kind of you know pulled up and it was just adorable so I really liked it and plus because you know it's rose gold I don't have too much rose gold so I thought I needed that in my collection really fast I had to run into the drugstore on Friday because we have stray cats at the office and um, I mean our complex like we all feed them so many people feed them but uh, I was totally out of cat food so I had to run into the drugstore to go get a bag of cat food and I was really curious as to trying some more Alme stuff. I totally, hang on, I, I'm missing something. I just wanted to try some more Alme stuff and they were still doing their buy one get one 50% off. So I picked up the Alme Smart Shade CC Luminous Primer and um, it's the Complexion Correcting Primer. It's got SPF 15. And I was reading the reviews on Ulta about this and people were like, this is life changing. This just makes my makeup last so much longer. And to my surprise, actually, no, it wasn't Friday. I think it was Wednesday. When did I post that picture? I think it was Wednesday. Oh my gosh. I'm so like <laughs> all over the place. Um, yeah, because I think I wore Thursday and Friday. Oh, I'm such a dingbat. Yeah. So I picked this up Wednesday. And um, people were just saying that it's a life changer. And I'm like, really? You know, like my Rachel K is my everything. So I wanted to see what the difference would be. And this is a luminous primer. And if you guys ever use the Dream Lumi, or the Lum I don't know. But I think it's called the Dream Lumi. But the, that primer, it's kind of got a little bit of that pearlescent, iridescent kind of look to it. It's really similar to that, but it's not greasy at all even though it's got the SPF in it um it really does like if you're wearing like a matte or flat satiny foundation it kind of does give you that glow underneath it and it did make my makeup last long like I was thinking because the SPF you know was gonna like start breaking up and coming off and it didn't it looked great I could not believe it because it's, it's a drugstore you know but it's still different from the Rachel K the Rachel K really like it's like a glue underneath you know any foundation it just like adheres um, your foundation to it and it just lasts long but this one gives you like a little bit of that glow underneath it so it's really good the other thing that I picked up from Alme was their smart shade powder blush and I'm pretty sure this one just called pink they got like three of them but it's this one right here and I've already used it and so it's all messed up already but it's really buildable. Um, it's not very pigmented and it's kind of weird because when you swatch it on the hand, it just kind of, it's kind of faint. It's like one, when you put it on your face on top of your foundation, it looks different. It like darkens up a little bit, but it's kind of like Max Well Dressed if you have that one, just not as pigmented, but it's really pretty, but I kind of like it. Like you can build it, you know, it's not like bam, it's on, you know, too much or, you know, it's just, it's kind of different to work with. So pretty interesting. Um, I might go get the coral one cause that one seems kind of pretty. And then they like, a uh, Walgreens like restocked their Jordana stand. And I've been trying to get these for a while now. 
and they finally had them and they are the twists and shines and I picked up this one which has just been amazing I love this one um, and this is the nude chic so I'm gonna swatch this right here and I love it that it has a little bit of glitter in it because it's so pretty by itself it's almost like you have a gloss on but you don't I can have my windows down my hair doesn't stick to it that is just so important to me sorry guys but it's just a really good nude um, and this is one that you throw on whenever you feel like it you know and then I got the sweet pink so I'll swatch this right here and this one's actually pretty pink when you put it on I wore this the other day and I put uh, let's say I use Laura Mercier Plumberry of course then I put this on and then I used my Alme blooming balm and it looked really pretty toned it down just a little bit man does this stay in your lips I haven't washed my face and everything and it was still on my lips so I can't believe it. It doesn't seem like it was stained that well, but it really does. Okay, so moving on to Sephora. Um, I just had a list of stuff I needed. Like, I really was not on the lookout for new things or anything. I just really needed to replenish what I ran out of. And, you know, that's like a love-hate kind of day. Like, you love the feeling that you used up everything, but then you hate having to buy it all. And then it's like when you want to try something new, you're like, oh, I'm already spending so much. Like I can't, you know, I can't really go and be buying a bunch of new things. So it was one of those days. But I think Sephora is having their sale again or another sale in April. So that'll be good because then I still have some things that I want and I'll get then. But the first thing I needed was a... Laura Mercier Loose Mineral Powder. I still have some of my real sand. Uh, but I wanted to start catching some rays and getting some color, so I figured I do need to go, you know, one shade darker because then I'm really not going to be matching here. So I picked up the color uh, Natural Beige, and yeah, so I got one of those. Then I got, I told you guys I wanted a new highlighter, which... The Indiscretion by Laura Mercy, I saw that online, I put it on my list to get, they didn't have it in the store, which to my surprise, I was kind of shocked because the South Coast Sephora usually has like everything, they didn't have it, but I picked up this one, this Laura Mercier, and I think Jaclyn Hill talked about this one time. And it's always just been in you know, the back of my mind. And it's the Laura Mercier Highlight 01. So it looks like this. And it, I put it on today. I couldn't wait. It is just a super pretty highlight. It's just, you know, I think it's a little bit more finely milled than the Becca. It's a little bit different, a um, little bit more iridescent. I don't know. It's just really pretty. So I wanted a, a different highlight, so I got a different highlight. So, okay, we got that. Then I got this liquid lip color, the Paint Wash by Laura Mercier. And what really inspired this was the chili t-shirt that I got. I wanted something that was gonna like completely match it. So that's why I was like, okay, I'll paint my nails. You know, I'll like completely match my shirt. And what I liked is that this isn't like, a, I thought it was going to be like Cajun shrimp so I could get away with like um, NARS Grace, but it's not as red. So this was really pretty and it's what I have on today. And the color is Coral Reef. So let me swatch this right here. It's just really, really pretty. So. That's what it looks like, but obviously you guys can see because I have it on. But I thought I'd swatch it. And you know, the formula is almost, almost just like the Hourglass liquid lipsticks or gloss or whatever that one's called. The one I have in canvas. Same formula, same little wand, minus that oily smell. So... Yeah, I really do like it, and it seems to last. I've been drinking coffee all morning, and it's still on my lips, so that's a good thing. Then, I had to get another Kat Von D Trooper 
I was out of mine so I just got another one of those and then I finished my Benefit Gimme Brow it was just done there was nothing coming out of it it was just kind of dried up but I've had it for about six months so you know it's not gonna last forever but I did pick up the Tarte Amazonian colored clay tinted brow gel and Elizabeth was just saying that she's been loving the she actually uses like the brown mousse I believe and then this on top but I figured I still had quite a bit of my Anastasia brow wiz like I you know I twisted it up and I was pretty shocked that I still had a lot so I was like well maybe I don't need one of those um, but I did need one of these so I picked this one up and I picked up the color taupe it's the one she says she uses but this is the smallest teeniest tiniest little wand I've like ever seen in my life I can't even get over how small it is it does do a really good job but compared to the gimme brow by benefit it is really tiny so um but the color is really close they're almost identical so i really like that shade and that's what i wanted to keep so i got that then i wanted a sample of the ole henriksen blue blackberry enzyme mask so i got this i used this last night and i wanted to see like if i was gonna like it better than the Freeman's Feeling Beautiful Pineapple Enzyme Mask and you know to my surprise my face didn't feel as exfoliated and super soft like it does when I use the pineapple one so it kind of like left me hanging because I, I did I don't know compared to this I was thinking this was going to be more intense but I don't know maybe it's not so maybe that pineapple enzyme mask really is like an awesome drugstore one so okay so I got a sample of that and then I did get a sample of the uh, Paracone no foundation foundation thanks to Andrew from Andrew's addiction he did a review which I'll link that down below but he did a review on this and I wanted to see how I was gonna like it comparing it to my Almay which is like my new absolute true love foundation i just love that tlc one and i just he was saying this is a really lightweight formula so i figured you know i want to try this too and just see how it wears on hot days and stuff like that so i got that then the girl loaded me up with samples um she got me well, she gave me the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Shampoo and Conditioner. So I got this to try. The Givenchy Very Irresistible uh, Perfume Samples. And a Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Now this is like the little sample, little baby version. Which I was like, well, I was just getting myself a brow gel. But okay, so I got this. It's just a cute baby size. So I got this too. So never hurts to have a backup so that's pretty much what I have or what I got actually but yeah so it's okay because this is actually a little bit longer than I anticipated it to be and I just figured if you guys wanted to go get any of like you know if you wanted the jeans or the chili shirt or something like that like I'll put the links down below and you guys can go get yourself some. I just wanted to share everything with you guys. And thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.